Hello all. Welcome back to discussion on Huygens principle. In the last class we have seen that Huygens principle and what are their points. Using Huygens principle already we know we can explain the reflection of light and refraction of light. How to explain reflection and refraction of the light using Huygens principle we will see in this session. I mean using Huygens principle we can prove laws of reflection and we can prove laws of refraction. So, just I will remind what we have discussed in the last class. We have studied that concept of wavefront. Wavefront is a locus where all medium particles vibrating in the same phase that we are calling wavefront. Concern to wavefront, I mean the propagation of the wavefront and the shape of the wavefront can well explained by Huygens principle. What are the points concerned to Huygens principle? Each point on source of light is a source of new disturbance from where light spread in all direction. This was first point. Second point, each point on the wavefront is a source of new disturbance. So, those are called as secondary wavelets. And third point is the forward envelope at any instant to secondary wavelet that gives the new wavefront. This is third point. Simply. The shape of the wavefront and propagation of the wavefront is given by Huygens principle. So that using Huygens principle, you can explain reflection of light, refraction of light, and diffraction of light. Though let us see, using Huygens principle, you can prove laws of reflection. See, here. let us start the concept. The concept is laws of reflection using Huygens principle. We know laws of reflection. The incident ray normal drawn at point of incident and uh, reflected ray all are lying in same plane. This is first law of reflection. Second law of reflection says that the angle of incident equal to angle of reflection. Now using the Huygens principle you can prove angle of incident equal to angle of reflection using the concept of wave rate. Let us see. See here. To prove the law of reflection now we will take a reflecting surface say you can take a mirror. Now I can take a plane mirror. Look at me. How to take? Simply you can take this is a plane mirror. This is a plane mirror. I mean a perfectly reflecting surface you can take. Say one surface is well polished and second surface is silvered. This second called reflecting surface. Now consider the rays of light incident on this surface. How this is? Look at me. I can take this is nothing but one ray of light this ray of light incident on the surface consider this is nothing but one ray of light see this is one ray of light incident on the surface consider this is nothing but ray of light this ray of light incident at point a are you following now consider second ray of light second ray of light how it is i can take this is nothing but one more ray of light see here this is one more applied incident at this point in this direction it comes see here if the case the ray becomes at a point then the second ray at reaches at b point by what distance both having the same distance like this but this second ray how it can go this second ray it can propagate in the further medium and it can incident at some other point look at me so what i can take i can take this is nothing but what a reflecting surface see here how it is the second ray it can comes it can comes and meeting at some other point at what point it is meeting it is meeting at c point so two rays are coming see here this is one ray and this is second ray how this is look at me first ray and second ray they are coming the incident at c point incident at c point see here whenever the first ray meeting at a point second ray meeting at b point then we know normal how it is normal? The perpendicular line drawn at the point of incident we are calling normal. Similarly, the perpendicular line drawn at the point of incident we are calling normal. Then after incident, the ray of light can reflect it. How this is? Look at me. After incident, this ray of light can reflect like this. A ray of light can reflect like this. In this direction, the ray of light can reflect. Again. The ray of light incident at this point, after incident, the ray of light again can reflect like this. It can reflect like this. Are you following? Ray of light incident at A point and reflected like this. Again, ray of light incident at C point and reflected in this direction. Again, angle between reflected ray normal, what you are calling this is angle of reflection. 
are you following this now look at me if the rays are coming how the wave front will come that is matter here see here we know that if at this point if we draw if we draw this point then this becomes what wave front this is wave front or at this point if we draw like this point then what are calling this these are calling the wave front if the rays propagating like this how the wave fronts are coming actually wave fronts are coming like this like this like this wave fronts are coming are you following now reflected ray becomes how the wave fronts are going wave fronts are going like this like this way wave fronts are going like this way wave fronts are going are you following me see here again incident rays incident at this point how the wave fronts are coming like this wave fronts are coming after reflection how the wave fronts can go like this wave fronts can go look at me now the point is angle between incident ray normal what are calling this this is angle of incident are you following now see here then from this point i can take this is one point say this is nothing but d point i can take at d point i will take at d point or you can take at this point also no matter here how to take if the case i can take uh, this is equal to what value ad i can choose some other point say this is d point i will choose d point from this d point how the wave fronts are coming actually wave fronts are coming like this at this point how the wave fronts are coming like this then if i join this one this becomes what or oh, look at me this becomes what the secondary wavelets or this we are calling the forward envelope look at me how this is this second take what value d value if we join this one this becomes what value the point d are you following what are calling this this is normal look at me i can take this is normal so this is what angle of reflection this second take angle of reflection this is what value r value are you following this see here your point is i need to prove the law of reflection to prove the law of reflection very simple during reflection of the light during reflection of the light speed of light doesn't changes wherever ray of light incident at this point get reflected the ray of light incident at this point again reflected during reflection the speed of light always remains same remember this then come to this geometry look at me now this one and this one how they looks like they looks like perpendicular which one this one and this one they looks like perpendicular if this is i what about this 90 minus i this becomes 90 minus i again this one and this one both are perpendicular if this is 90 minus i what about this angle this angle again what value that becomes i value i mean this angle i must be equal to this angle i right similarly now this we are calling angle of reflection the second call angle of reflection see here now this one this one and this one how they looks like incident or reflector both are perpendicular so this is what value r which angle this angle is what value this angle is r what about this 90 minus r see here which one angle i am calling i am calling this is what value r value and what about this 90 minus r this what value 90 minus r then again what value this one this becomes again what value r because this one and this one both are perpendicular look at me this is what value normal see here if it is r this becomes 90 minus r 90 minus r again this is perpendicular this also r. from geometry if it take this is i this also i if it take this is r this also r but i said that during reflection of the light speed of light doesn't changes see here how much time taken by bc that much time taken by ad what i'm saying how much the time taken by bc that much a time taken by ad because during reflection of the light speed of light doesn't changes so that the speed remains same then in take the same time look at me. we know speed formula what is speed speed concerned to what value bc see here speed is equal to bc divided by time t or what is time t time t is equal to how much that is bc divided by v similarly the time taken by ad how to write see here time taken by ad mean v is equal to what value that is ad divided by t or what is t t t is equal to how much t is equal to ad divided by v see here they take the same time because during reflection the speed of light doesn't changes and the travel the same distance so that 
compare both here here also t here also t then what can from this value and this value you can prove that i can prove from this one bc is equal to ad bc equal to ad now simply i can call this is equation number 1 we got bc is equal to ad equation number 1 then look at me the two triangles are there which one is triangle i can call i can take a b c is one triangle a d c is another triangle look at me first of all i will go for triangle a b c triangle a b c from triangle a b c i take sin i what is sin i sin theta is equal to my sin i is equal to opposite by hypotenuse opposite is equal to what value in a b c opposite is equal to bc and the hypotenuse is equal to ac that is what value bc divided by ac or uh, what is bc from this from this bc is equal to ac sin i that is equation number 2 i can call right now similarly one more triangle which is triangle triangle adc in triangle adc this is sin r this is sin r see here then uh, i can take sin r value see here what about this one this one i can take r value because it is r 90 minus r again this value what value it is r value so that in adc triangle shall i take here in adc triangle i am taking what value sin r sin r is equal to what value that is ad divided by ac ad divided by ac then see here again you can take like this look at me. ad is equal to much ad is equal to ac sin r let us call this is equation number 3 i can take equation number 3 now we got the bc and ac put equation 2 and equation 3 in equation 1 because here bc is equal to ad bc is equal to ad then how to write simply this is what value ac sin r ac sin r see here then from this you can take that equation 1 and equation 3 put equation 2 and equation 3 in equation 1 ac what value sin i is equal to what value ac sin r ac ac get cancel sin i is equal to sin r or i is equal to what value r so this what you are calling laws of reflection angle of incident equal to what value angle of reflection so this you can call second law of reflection this second call second law of reflection using huygens principle simply you can prove the law of reflection similarly we can prove law of reflection using law of refraction using huygens principle that concept will see now look at me now let us go law of refraction using huygens principle see here from this you can see law of refraction shall i go law of refraction from this simply what you can go laws of refraction laws of refraction using using huygens principle using huygens principle look at me we know laws of refraction angle of incident angle of refraction sorry incident ray refracted ray normal drawn at point of incident all are lying in same plane first law of refraction second law of refraction says that the ratio of sine of angle of incident to sine of angle of refraction is constant for a given pair of media that constant we are calling refractive index right about see here now i can take is surface which divide the two medium look at me i can take this nothing but the surface which divide the two medium divide two medium say one medium i can call rear medium second one i can call denser medium see here this is the separate surface so a one medium is rear whose refractive index is n1 and which speed of light is equal to v1 
ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಅಕಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ರಿಫ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಡಿ ಇಂಟು ಐನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಹೀಟ್ ನಾವು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದ ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇನ್ಸರೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಕಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ರೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇನ್ಸರೆಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ರೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇನ್ಸರೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೇ ರೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇನ್ಸರೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಾವು ಅಕಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ this second ray of light how it is this second ray second ray of light if the case this ray a coming at a point then what about second ray second ray must be coming at p point see here so this ray of light again extended how it comes this ray of light can extend it comes like this it extend it comes like this like this where it incident second ray of light say incident at c point so for my convenience i will take this line see here incident at this point now when ray a meeting at a point then what about ray a b ray b can meeting at this point and this is that is going to spin to rays now the ray of light incident at a ray of light incident at b we should know normal perpendicular line drawn at the point of incident we are calling normal how it is see here perpendicular line drawn at the point of incident we are calling normal similarly at this point at this point if we draw perpendicular line perpendicular line drawn at point of incident we are calling normal right now see here the ray of light it can travel from rarer medium to denser medium when a ray of light travels from rarer medium to denser medium the ray of light is refracted towards normal how this is see here this ray of light incident at this point and this ray of light must refract in this direction similar the ray of light incident at this point and the ray of light must refract like this see here in this direction the ray of light is refracted see here angle between incident ray normal what you are calling this is angle of incident i angle between refracted ray normal what you are calling this angle of refraction r see here matter is how the wave fronts will come that will see see here. at this point if we draw this one then they becomes wave front actually how the wave fronts will coming like this wave fronts are coming this is a propagation of the wave front or this i can take the propagation of the wave front how the wave fronts will come like this wave fronts will come see here here in rarer medium greater wave front is there but in the denser medium lower wave front is i mean size of the wave front is decrease because when ray of light travels from rarer medium to denser medium definitely what will change the speed of the light changes i mean in denser medium the speed of light is less and in the rarer medium the speed of light is more in this medium the speed of light is more in this medium the speed of light is less value see here now simply you can take a refract index how refract index i can define i can define refract index in so way ratio of speed of light into medium how to define refractive index of medium is nothing but what refractive index of the medium is the ratio of speed of light into medium ratio of speed of light into medium refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium so that again what i can write n2 divided by n1 is equal to v1 divided by v2 let us call this is equation number 1 right thing now now let us talk about the wave front how after refraction how wave front will go look at here i can take after refraction how the wave fronts are coming like this way wave fronts are coming after refraction how this is now let us take this is nothing but position of the refracted wave front right around this then at this point if we take actually how the wave fronts will come like this wave fronts will come in this manner in rarer medium in denser medium how the wave fronts will do if we take this is the point this becomes what a refracted wave front are you following then what is second point of huygens principle the forward envelope to secondary wavelet at any instant gives new wave front forward envelope in if we take the tangent line if we take this is the tangent line this tangent line indicates what forward envelope how it is no shall i take this point this point i can take d point at d point and c point if we draw the forward envelope this indicates what this indicates the new wave front 
the forward envelope to secondary wavelets give the position of the new wavefront actually from this again so many wavefronts are originating from this point now again come to this point come to geometry so here yeah, we know that this solid line and dotted line how they looks like they looks like 90 degree so if it is 90 degree this one and this one how they looks like they looks like 90 degree if it is i what about this 90 minus i then again what value this dotted line and solid line becomes 90 90 minus i plus 90 again this what value if this is i what about this one this also i because this total angle is 180 total angle is 180 return this now again come to this point again take this one this forward envelope and this refracted ray how they becomes they becomes 90 if it is r what about this 90 minus r if it is 90 minus r then what about this this is 90 90 minus r plus this angle is equal to 90 if this is r value again from geometry what to conduct this also r are you following this now you got geometry then let us talk about speed of light look at it actually bc is nothing but the ray of light incident in the rarer medium and what is ad the ray of light refracted in the denser medium but in denser medium the speed of light is decreased so that it travel shorter path but in the rarer medium this is travel with the longest path because of speed is not changes but how much time taken by bc that much time taken by ad here path may be shorter because of what reason due to the change in speed of light because during refraction the speed of light can changes so that here maybe it travel the shorter path but it may be longer path but speed of light during ad and bc remains same i mean sorry the time taken by the ad and bc must be the same so that i can take from the geometry how much time taken by bc that much time taken by ad I can define speed of light in what way? Here yeah, during refraction, what it changes? Speed of light changes. So here. Yeah. I can take in rarer medium BC. V1 is equal to what value? V1 is equal to BC divided by T. BC divided by T. Or what is T? What is T from this? T is equal to how much? That T is equal to simply that is BC divided by V1. Let us call. Let us call this is equation number 2. I can take. Then similarly, how much a time taken by AD? See here, in this AD, what is speed? That is speed is equal to V2. V2 is equal to how much? That is AD divided by T or what is T? T is equal to AD divided by V2. Let us call equation number 3. Now, you just compare equation 2 and 3. What we are getting? See here. BC divided by V1 is equal to AD divided by V2 or I need V2 by V1. See here. BC divided by AD. BC divided by AD is equal to that I can take V1 divided by V2. Let us call equation 4. BC by AD is equal to V1 by V2. Now put equation 4 in equation 1. What we are getting then directly? See here, how it is equation 1, n1 by n2, n1 divided by n2 is equal to, n1 divided by n2 is equal to what you are getting, that is v1 by v2 is equal to bc divided by ad then, bc divided by ad, let us call, shall I call it is equation number 5. Now, come to true triangle, here two triangles are there, a, b, c looks like one triangle, in this triangle, this angle is available i, from the shall I take sign i, in this triangle ABC, in a triangle ABC, sin I, sin I, what is sin I? Sin I is equal to BC divided by AC, BC divided by AC. What is BC then? From this, BC is equal to how much? That is AC sin I, AC sin I. Similarly, one more triangle looks like, which is triangle? ADC is one triangle, ADC is one triangle, ADC is one triangle. Again, from the second deck sin theta, I mean here R available. What is sin R? Oppose it by hypotenuse. See here. Sin R is equal to how much? Sin R is equal to. Look at in the triangle ADC. Sin R. 
साइन आर साइन आर इज इक्वल टू ए डी डिवाइडेड बाई ए सी और वट इज ए डी ए डी इज इक्वल टू ए सी साइन आर नाउ पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ बी सी एंड ए डी इन इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव वट आर गेटिंग रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ सेकेंड मीडियम विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू फर्स्ट मीडियम इज इक्वल टू बी सी बी सी जो मच ए सी साइन आई ए सी साइन आई ए डी ए सी साइन आर ए सी ए सी गेट कैंसल देन साइन आई डिवाइडेड बाई साइन आर रेस्टो ऑफ साइन ऑफ एंगल ऑफ इंसरेंट टू साइन ऑफ एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन इज कॉन्स्टेंट This law, what are you calling? This law we are calling Snell's law of refraction. So, using Huygens principle, we can prove law of refraction, and we can prove law of refraction. But now, let us take what is behavior of the plane wave friend when it is passing through prism, when it is passing through convex lens, when it is incident on a concave mirror. That we will see. Now, our next concept is behavior of plane wave friend. Here. Next concept is the behavior of wavefront during refraction. Look at me. Next concept is behavior of behavior of plane wave front plane wave front behavior of plane wave front during refraction during refraction look at behavior of plane wave front during refraction this concept we will see how a plane wave front is rent on the lens and on the given prism how it is refracted that means look at me initially i can take prism let us take it is a very simple prism that is made up of the glass generally it is a prism consider a plane wave front ab i can take this is nothing but plane wave front This is plane wave front. Consider this plane wave front is equal to what value AB? Right or wrong? If wave front is like this, then what is the ray of light? Look at me. How the ray of light is coming? Look at me. I can take this nothing but one ray of light incident, second ray of light incident. I can take third ray of light incident. When the plane wave front is incident on the prism, this get refracted. Actually, at this point. there is lower thickness at this point there is greater thickness due to greater thickness at the bases this plane wave front a little bit tightened little bit bent how it is look at me when plane wave front incident at this point let us take the refracted wave front that becomes like this refracted wave front that i can mention by what value i can mention by a dash b dash see here. the position of the wave front is like this after refraction how the wave front will come actually wave front will come like this reason behind it actually when this plane wave front incident at the lower thicker region it can travel with a longer distance it can travel with a longer distance but whenever the lower portion of the wave front it travel with a longer distance in the denser medium in the denser medium it travel with a longer distance so it a little bit get tightened simply the plane wave front that is refracted through this prism it get little bit tighter because here lower region become the travel longer distance in the denser medium and here the wave front becomes with a lesser distance medium so that it little get tightened little bit bending similarly now let us see actually how the refraction of the light takes place from this like this there is refraction of the light refraction of the light takes place like this possible now similarly when plane wave front incident on the convex lens how it is get refracted that we'll see see i can take simply i can take this is nothing but convex lens double convex lens i can take this is double convex lens 
convex lens mean it is thinner at the edges and thicker at the middle right or wrong so that let us take again take this is the plane wave front i can take the plane wave front ab incident plane wave front end when plane wave front incident on this convex lens it get refracted actually the plane wave front it a little bit bending at this point and little bit bending at this point but at the middle it can bend more after refraction how it becomes look at me after refraction the plane wave front that becomes like this actually this i can call refracted wave front that is represented by a dash b dash because reason is there after refraction the upper region the upper region it travel with a lower thickness in the denser medium it little bit bend but at the middle at the midpoint it travel with a longer distance in the denser medium so exactly at the middle it get a more bending after refraction how it is consider this nothing but ray applied incident this is the ray applied incident and one more ray applied after refraction how the ray applied can comes like this so ray applied passing through this optical center doesn't deviate it like this comes after refraction how the new wave front becomes new wave front becomes like this i mean exactly at the middle it travel with a longer distance in the denser medium so it get more bending and at the thinner it the, at the edges it little bit bending takes place this is refracted wave front after refraction through prism similarly if the plane wave front incident on the concave mirror how it is possible now this is refraction during reflection how it takes place see here during reflection i can take this is concave mirror i can take this is nothing but concave mirror simply i can take concave mirror now i can take again one more plane mirror see here this is what plane wave wave front i can take say this plane wave front is equal to ab i can mention this is plane wave front and this is concave mirror we know that the ray of light how it is consider this is nothing but one ray of light incident get reflected back right around reflected back let us take one more ray of light that is incident and again reflected back at this point consider one more ray of light incident and again after get reflected like this so after reflection all ray are meeting at this point at this point i can call focus question is when plane wave front ab incident on this mirror how it get reflected see here when plane wave front coming like this this upper region it upper region travel with a shorter path but what about this middle region it travel with a longer path see here this is shorter path i can mention what about this this is longer path so that after incident the plane wave front get reflected it get reflected like this how it get look at me. it get reflected in this manner this reflected wave front i can mention as a dash b dash because at the middle the reflected wave front is more bending takes place because of it travel with a longer distance but at the upper part upper part is little bit bending due to shorter path so that this is position of the new wave front after reflection that is represented by a dash and b dash but here one more concept will come that we are calling doppler effect this doppler effect concept already we have seen in first pc look at it simply doppler effect in case of light that we will see here we are defining two terms that we are calling red shift and blue shift see here next concept is doppler effect simple way i can take doppler effect doppler effect in light see here. doppler effect says that wherever the relative motion between source of light and observer the frequency received by observer is different from actual frequency or the wavelength received by observer is different from actual frequency this phenomena we are calling doppler effect i mean the change in frequency of light or changing in wavelength of light whenever there is relative motion between source of light and observer that phenomena we are calling doppler effect so doppler effect it can applicable for all rays of light either it is visible light either it is uh, 
uh, ir rays either it is visible either it is uh, elect either it is uh, uv rays or radio waves whatever is whatever types of light whatever electromagnetic waves are available for all electromagnetic waves doppler effect can available i mean wherever there is relative motion between source of light and observer there is change in wavelength or change in frequency of the light takes place this phenomena can called doppler effect see here if the case the source of light is moving from stationary observer source of light is moving from stationary observer gradually the frequency of light is decreases and wavelength of light is increases wherever the wavelength of light is increases that we are calling red shift i mean the changing in wavelength from smaller wavelength to bigger wavelength that we are calling red shift initially i can define doppler effect in what way look at me the phenom you know, whenever whenever relative motion between relative motion between relative motion between source of light source of light and observer wherever there is source of relative motion between source of light and observer the frequency frequency and and wavelength of light changes frequency and wavelength of light changes frequency and wavelength of light changes wavelength of light changes this phenomena can called doppler effect see here during doppler effect either frequency can increase or frequency can decrease or wavelength can increase and wavelength can decrease when frequency decrease and when wavelength increase whenever the source of light is moving from stationary observer source of light is moving from stationary observer the wavelength of the light is increase and frequency of the light is decrease the increase in wavelength due to the source of light moving from observer that phenomena we are calling red shift see here mainly during doppler effect i can define two term one we are calling red shift red shift and second one we are calling blue shift blue shift here meaning of red shift is simply i can say when the source of light is moving from stationary observer the frequency of the light is decrease and wavelength of the light is increase the increase in wavelength increase in wavelength during doppler effect i can call red shift similarly when the source of the light is moving towards stationary observer frequency of the light is increases and wavelength of the light is decreases the decrease in wavelength of the light during doppler effect i can call blue shift increase in wavelength during doppler effect i can call red shift and decrease in wavelength during doppler effect i can call blue shift so this is the simple concept of doppler effect no need to explain more the further concept concerned to huygens principle and interference of the light that we'll see in the next session thank you